Man United identified Dream Transfer Solution as Mason Mount can unlock next signing. Manchester United's summer transfer window has been hectic, and there could be more twists and turns to come before deadline day. Manchester United have enjoyed a slightly better transfer window than they have become accustomed to in recent years, but Ineos will still be on the hunt for more. Men's Sport understands the Reds are advancing with their approach for PSG midfielder Manuel Ugarte. The Uruguayan is a top target for United, who are looking to strengthen their midfield after a shaky spell for Casemiro last season. While Ugarte is the only expected transfer at this stage, as we know the market can change rapidly and United could still do more business. In our latest look at the media headlines, we analyze a dream transfer the Reds could make as well as how one current player could unlock a surprise signing. Manchester United had been meticulously planning their transfer strategy, and as the summer window progressed, they believed they had identified the perfect solution to bolster their midfield, one that could be facilitated by the recent acquisition of Mason Mount. The club's dream transfer target, an elite midfielder who would elevate the team to new heights, was now within reach, thanks in part to the role Mount could play in unlocking the next big signing. Mount's arrival at Old Trafford had already brought a new dynamic to the squad. The England international, known for his versatility, work rate, and ability to link play between midfield and attack, was exactly the type of player Eric Ten Hag valued. His intelligence on the ball and tactical flexibility made him a perfect fit for Ten Hag's system, and his presence was already starting to make an impact on the pitch. But beyond his contributions on the field, Mount's signing was also viewed as a strategic move in the transfer market. United's recruitment team had carefully analyzed how his attributes could complement another key player they were targeting, a player who could complete the midfield puzzle and transform United into a genuine title contender. United's dream target was a midfielder with the ability to control games, dictate the tempo, and provide both defensive solidity and creative spark. While Mount brought energy, pressing ability, and goal-scoring potential, the club sought someone who could dominate the center of the park, allowing the team to maintain possession and break down stubborn defenses. Sofian Amrabat, the dynamic Moroccan international from Fiorentina, was identified as that ideal candidate. Known for his physical presence, passing range, and ability to disrupt opposition play, Amrabat had impressed on the international stage and in Serie A. His performances had not gone unnoticed, and United believed he could be the perfect partner for Mount in a revamped midfield. The idea was simple yet brilliant, with Mount operating as the advanced playmaker, linking up with the forwards and pressing high up the pitch, Amrabat would slot in as the deep-lying playmaker or defensive anchor. This partnership would offer balance, with Amrabat providing the defensive cover and composure on the ball, while Mount brought creativity and energy. Together they could form a midfield duo capable of controlling games, both defensively and offensively. United's pursuit of Amrabat gained momentum as the club explored how to structure a deal that would bring him to Old Trafford. The presence of Mount was seen as a key factor in this, as his versatility meant that Amrabat could be integrated seamlessly into the team without disrupting the existing dynamics. The two players' skill sets were viewed as complementary, with each enhancing the other's strengths. As negotiations with Fiorentina progressed, United's confidence grew. They knew that securing Amrabat would not only add quality to the squad, but would also send a message to their rivals. United were serious about challenging for top honors. The club was ready to back Ten Hag's vision and adding a player of Amrabat's caliber would be a significant step toward achieving their goals. The anticipation among United fans was palpable. With Mount already in the fold, the potential arrival of Amrabat had supporters dreaming of a midfield that could dominate games, control possession, and provide the platform for the team's attacking talents to flourish. The transfer window was nearing its climax, and while deals of this magnitude were never straightforward, United were optimistic that they could pull it off, 
If they did, it would be a master stroke, one that could reshape the team and push them closer to reclaiming their place at the top of English and European football. Manchester United had experienced a summer transfer window that was, by many accounts, a marked improvement over the chaotic and often underwhelming windows of recent years. Other news, Manchester United summer sales close to reaching double digits as midfielder nears exit. Man United youngster Oya Dell is closing in on an exit from the club, which means sales could reach double digits. Manchester United youngster Maxi Oya Dale's permanent transfer to Legia Warsaw could be completed on Wednesday. Oya Dale traveled on the preseason tour of the United States last month and featured in each friendly against Arsenal, Real Betis, and Liverpool from the substitute bench. The 19-year-old spent the second half of last season on loan with Forest Green Rovers and was open to a move away from United this summer to break into the professional game. It's understood United have agreed a deal with Legia Warsaw to sell Oyadel on a permanent transfer, and they are allowing the youngster to leave for a small initial fee, which includes a substantial future sell-on clause to ensure profit from potential further success. Oyadel's move is expected to be sealed this week, but sources have confirmed it could be completed on Wednesday, which will bring down the curtains on his time in Manchester. Salford-born Oyadel has represented Poland U18s, although he is also eligible to play for both Nigeria and England at international level, and could yet make a switch. Legia Warsaw, who are in the Conference League in Europe this season, are the most successful club in Polish history and currently sit at the top of their domestic league. The midfielder joined United's academy when he was eight. He progressed through the youth ranks and was eventually included in first-team training sessions at Carrington. Oyadel appeared in all of the under-18s matches in their successful FA Youth Cup campaign in 2021-22 and played in the final of that competition against Nottingham Forest. That team included the likes of Alejandro Garnacho and Kabi Mainu, who have established themselves in the first team. But Oyadel will leave without having made a senior bow. United have been proactive in the selling market this summer, and their sales could reach double digits, with Will Fish leaving to join Cardiff City and Hannibal in talks with Burnley. Manchester United's youth setup had always been a fertile ground for developing talent, but it was also a place where tough decisions had to be made. As the summer transfer window approached its final days, the club found itself at a crossroads with several of its promising young players, including young midfielder Maximilian Oyadel. Oyadeli, a bright prospect who had shown flashes of his potential in United's academy, was now on the brink of an exit from the club. His departure, while not entirely surprising given the competition for places at Old Trafford, was part of a broader trend that had seen the club's sales reach double digits this transfer window. For Oyadel, the decision to leave Manchester United was not taken lightly. He had dreamed of breaking into the first team, of walking out onto the pitch at Old Trafford in front of thousands of adoring fans. But the reality of life at a top club like United meant that opportunities were scarce, and the pathway to the senior squad was often blocked by established stars and new signings. As the club continued to bring in reinforcements to strengthen the first team, the pressure on academy players like Oyadele to either make an immediate impact or move on became more intense. Despite his undeniable talent, the chances of Oyadel securing regular first-team football at United were slim. He needed to play, to develop, and to showcase his abilities at a level where he could be a key figure, not just another promising youngster waiting for a chance that might never come. The decision to allow Oyadel to leave was also a reflection of the club's broader strategy during this transfer window. With a focus on building a squad capable of competing at the highest level, United had been active in both buying and selling players. The sales had been particularly notable, with the club moving on several players who were either on the fringes of the first team or who had outgrown the academy setup. By the time the window closed, the number of exits could very well reach double digits, a clear indication of the ruthlessness with which United was approaching its squad management. 
For Oyadel, the move away from United could be the fresh start he needed. While it was always difficult to leave a club as prestigious as Manchester United, the opportunity to play regular football and to continue his development elsewhere was too good to pass up. And for United, the sale was another step in the ongoing process of reshaping the squad. Ensuring that only those players who were truly ready to contribute at the highest level remained at the club. As the news of Oyadel's impending exit spread, it was a reminder of the harsh realities of football. Talent alone was not always enough to guarantee success. Other four, 